Joby Aviation. I don't know what it is with me today. Joby Aviation has completed the longest test flight of an electric uh, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. That's an EV uh, TOL to date. We're joined now by Paul Shiara, Joby Aviation Executive Chairman. Paul, uh, hopefully I can talk throughout this interview. I've been struggling today. Uh, so let's just talk about electric aircraft, because I know it's quite tricky since the battery has to have enough power to really get that lift off, uh, but then also has to have enough uh, juice and power essentially to complete the rest of the journey without still being too incredibly big. So how did Joby really find that balance uh, in your aircraft? Uh, well, thanks a lot for having me on, uh, Kristen. And as, as you noted from the outset, it's been a big day, of, a big week of milestones for the company. And one of those was certainly the demonstration of 150 mile test flight on a single charge. I think showing, contrary to the way that many people thought, that the long range that we've talked about is possible with batteries that exist today. I think it's a real testament, frankly, to the engineering effort um, that's really played out over the course of the past 10 years in this company. Um, putting together the right pieces, the right sort of efficient electric motors, the right battery packs, the right underlying aircraft design to really deliver on the promise of air taxis for the first time. Um, so the challenge is, as you mentioned, sort of ensuring that you have the right amount of power and that you're using it in the right way. And this test flight, I think, is a real testament to that work. So I want to ask, uh, because you guys are expected to bring some of these flights uh, to market in 2024, uh, what kind of flights can the public expect uh, once those flights are brought to market? So we've designed our aircraft maybe a little bit differently than others to really be suitable for any trips between 5 and 150 miles. So that's a pretty wide swath of trips. So that's trips inside of cities, say downtowns to airports, but also at the higher end of the range, really allowing us to connect cities to suburbs, and in some cases, cities to nearby cities. So the 150 miles that we demonstrated this week, that's a trip like San Francisco to Tahoe, doing it in a fraction of the, to of the time, at similar cost to taking a ride-sharing vehicle on the ground, and of course, we think of even greater safety. Um, so the opportunity is really to deliver on that big, wide range of trips with just a single aircraft. I want to ask, because you guys right now are based in, in California, but are there plans to bring some of these shuttles perhaps to the East Coast, to New York? I know the shuttle flight from New York to the Hamptons, for example, is a popular one uh, right now. I've seen some of my friends have definitely t made that trip. Uh, are there plans beyond California right now? So we haven't made any announcements of our launch cities, though I think we've told investors during our analyst day that we're going to be making some announcements on that front at the tail end of this year. And when we think about the opportunity for this aircraft and the service that's based on the aircraft, it's really not, we think it's really widely uh, applicable. So hey, it could be LA, it could also be New York, there are cities like Miami that I think are also interesting. Um, so we really intend to uh, target our initial launch in one or two cities and then kind of grow from there. What about cost? I know that Joby Aviation says that, you know, you guys are trying to make this type of travel a reality for your typical and average American. So what, what is the cost of one of these flights going to be? It's a really good question, Kristen, and everything about this aircraft was designed to be affordable and accessible from day one. So the capacity of the aircraft, the speed of the aircraft, the sort of reduced charge time, were all to ensure that we could drive to a price point that started affordable and got progressively more affordable in time. So we've messaged in the, in the analyst presentations that we're expecting to start at sort of roughly $4 per passenger seat mile, driving down over the first two years to something like $3 per passenger seat mile. So folks can think about that as sort of a little bit below the cost of an Uber Black today, getting down to the cost of an Uber X. Um, and at those price points, we think this is a mode of transportation that can really be affordable and accessible to everyone. Uh, and I want to ask you about Pinterest in just a moment, but before I do, I, I want to quickly ask you, because I know Joby Aviation is set to go public uh, in August after a shareholder vote. I'm curious to know if you can tell us a bit uh, about your plans after that IPO and what's coming next. 
Yeah, so for us, the, the sort of opportunity to go public now um, really wasn't based so much on market conditions, about the, but instead about the company's readiness across the things that we're going to have to execute over the next stretch. So we feel really good about where the technology stands. Obviously, it's demonstrated by the flights this week. And what's going forward is really the execution of a certification plan that um, has now been sort of broadly agreed to with the FAA with our receipt of the G1 issue paper. So our approach over the next three years are going to be quarter by quarter to execute against the things that matter to build this business. First, certification, second, manufacturing, and third, service design and rollout. I, of course, want to ask you about Pinterest because you are one of Pinterest's co-founders. Pinterest really getting slammed today, down 18.5%. That is, of course, on the news that that monthly average user figure has fallen. And, and Pinterest really did so well during the pandemic as so many folks turning to Pinterest for recipes and I'm assuming new ways to bake bread. Uh, I'm curious to know uh, what you think is coming next for Pinterest, especially as we move out of the pandemic. Folks are excited about getting back outside, um, about some of the growth there and, and some of those average users uh, every month. Yeah, well, I certainly can't speak to the specifics of this quarter, um, uh, Kristen, but Look, I've always had confidence in the product and in Ben and the sort of broader team there. Um, so I think that the company is going to continue to sort of execute well over the next stretch. All right. A nice bull and optimistic tone being struck for Pinterest. Paul Shiara, Jovi Aviation's executive chairman. Thanks so much for joining us today.